And over the last year, I've worked as hard as I can to focus on trying to deal with the growing problem of college affordability. Uh, we know that the cost of a college education continues to go up, but the amount of financial aid available keeps coming down. Some universities here in New York City, the cost to attend now exceeds more than $60,000 per year. Thankfully, that's not the case at LIU. But we are in the midst of a higher education affordability crisis that impacts our community, our city, and our country. For many young people, in order to obtain a college degree, they've got to acquire mountains of student loan debt. Throughout the country, collective student loan debt now exceeds more than $1 trillion. It's a staggering and frightening number that will limit the ability of young people to start a family, purchase a home, or, or take an entrepreneurial risk that could lead to the creation of the next great American company. Our young people are in a tough spot. But thankfully, there are a few things that can be done to help them get out of it. First, we are still in an era of relatively low interest rates. Now, if you can refinance a mortgage, you should also be able to refinance your student loan debt in order to lower your monthly costs. And I've co-sponsored legislation being championed by Senator Elizabeth Warren to accomplish that objective. Second, it seems to me that colleges and universities should only be able to get the benefit of federal financial assistance if they are actually preparing, as LIU does, our young people for jobs in the 21st century economy. If you are a college or university graduating student with mountains of debt who are unable to find gainful employment, that's not a college education, that's a racket, and it should not be subsidized by the federal government. Last, I think it's time for us to put the public interest back into public higher education. More than 40 years ago, the City University of New York was tuition free. If you lived in New York City, it didn't cost a dime for you to attend. It was a substantial public investment, but it yielded a significant return. Brooklyn College produced the legendary Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm. Hunter College produced the poet and civil rights activist Sonia Sanchez. City College produced the entrepreneur Stanley Kaplan, Supreme Court Justice Felix Frankfurter, and former Secretary of State Colin Powell, just to name a few distinguished graduates who benefited from tuition-free education. It's time that we put the public interest back into public higher education. Once again, the City University of New York should be tuition-free for all New York City high school students who graduate having maintained at least a B average. New York City once led the nation in preparing our young people for greatness, and it's time for us to do it again.